Hey, what's up, everybody? This is the Classic Tycoon here, and we're back for episode 9 of our Whitewater Park Let's Play series. In the last one, we built this big wooden roller coaster right here, and um, I guess in the last two, we did that. So now we're going to get into kind of the, the final episodes of the series here. I was going to do one long episode to finish it off, but it, we're in June, so I feel like that would almost end up being just a little bit too long. So I think we'll split it up into two more episodes. So we'll get a couple more things done today with a couple rides, see if we can put in something um, a little bit more exciting today. But let's look at what we've got available right now. Oh, as I um, look at the merry-go-round. Uh, but um, anyways, yeah, just looking back to what we've kind of um, researched and just figuring out you know what we can do next here probably we'll probably do you know kind of our standard format let's do a gentle ride or a thrill ride first and then we'll do something custom built second that's usually what we end up doing um, so I'm thinking an observation tower next um, we don't have one of those yet somewhere you know next to one of the roller coasters make it a little bit more exciting so let's find a good place for that. All right, so we'll probably put it somewhere around here. Somewhere next to the Leaping Roller Coaster here um, to bring up the time rating of both rides. Doesn't fit right there, so we'll try a couple spaces here. All right, I think this will work fine. Change up the color scheme a little bit here, and then put in our pathways. Alright, so that is good to go. Let's, check, let's uh, kind of check our finances, check on our ride, see how everything's doing here. This is something you should do regularly. So, if you look at the profit and go to the bottom, we notice that some of the rides aren't making money, so we'll have to go in and see why. 95% um, of the time, it's because guests um, think the ride is too expensive. So, just go in and reduce the price. and. It's only that's not like 10 cents, usually it would be making at least some money. So just do that. Especially with these rides that they were that they were complaining about are not near the front of the park. So that can get make guests unhappy right at the entrance of the park. You don't want that happening, so just make sure that those are nice and cheap. So that guests will uh, come in and be happy about what rides the prices of the rides there. Alright, so um we don't have any go-karts in the park right now, so I think that's what I would like to build next. So let's just look around and find a good space for some go-karts here. So the most open area is still probably in the center. Um, you can see all of this area on the outside is just taken up. I, I mean, and the center is taken up by a big roller coaster. We can work around that. So, we've got this space on the northern part of the lake here. Yeah, I guess that would be nice, right? right? So, let's, um, let's flip this around and let's put this here. Um, and we'll head up. To the left. <laughs> I don't know what the direction goes like that, but I think so. Um, anyways, 
yeah, we'll build this here. I want to kind of weave it in and out of the um, the uh, the leaking roller coaster here, and we'll see if we can increase the rating of the leaking roller coaster while also getting a good excitement rating on our go cards. I was gonna build this all the way down to here, but that would get in the way of the bumper boats. So we'll go ahead and adjust that here. And I wanna try to get this um well if we go this way we can't go back under the roller coaster, so I'm thinking well, let's try to get it up through the loop. And uh, that would be pretty exciting, right? So we'll have to make some adjustments, but um we should be able to make this work. It's fine. And there we go, went through the loop. I mean, uh, that looks like it shouldn't work, but hey, it, it does. And um, we'll bring this thing home now. All right, let's throw in our entrance and exit pathways, adjust the, the um, entrance and all that, and then we'll get this thing open um, and we'll let the guests test it out and see what we're looking at here. All right, so we'll just have to wait for the guests to get in there. The excitement rating of the Leaping Roller Coaster went up by 0.6, so that's actually really significant. So that's pretty good. Um, that helped out a lot putting those go cards there. And it doesn't even look that bad. It looks actually uh, like it looks pretty good together. Um, sometimes you put these go carts, you know, next to a roller coaster like this, and it looks really forced and just bad together. But it's actually, it really looks okay. I don't mind it. Alright, so let's throw in an entertainer into the go kart line because the go kart line always moves extremely slow. Um, so you want to have an entertainer in the line oftentimes to make sure the guests aren't uh, getting angry about waiting for the ride. Especially since not too many riders can go at once kind of go parts. see what happens here. You can see <laughs> the guys are just kind of driving through the roller coaster right here. And if that roller coaster came through, I'm sure it would destroy that track. Looks okay at these angles though. We'll just get a souvenir stall. We'll be sure to put in one of those. Uh, let's check our ratings here, see if the test results come in. We're on the way now. And there we go, 5.65. That's actually pretty dang good. I like that a lot for these red cards. So. We'll adjust the price accordingly, and then we'll, uh, I would like to put in a souvenir stall, and then we'll wrap this thing up. We'll round that up to 5.7. And we get some left, so that'll be all right. All right, let's throw in a souvenir stall. Um, find a good spot for it. I think it may be by the exit of the wooden roller coaster. I think I'll actually put it at the exit of the go-karts, since nothing's really going on over there. That's probably bad logic, but at least it looks like there's something there. We'll change the color of the umbrellas, and then that will be good to go for business. All 
already got some customers there though, that's good. We want to put the souvenir stall somewhere where the guests are likely to be happy, so an exit to, you know, a go-kart, an exciting ride like that is actually a pretty decent spot. Not a lot of traffic, but I think that having the new ride there will actually bring people over to the area. Even if they're not able to get into the line, they will still have guests coming down, heading toward the ride. You can see there's actually a lot of people buying stuff there. Let's watch this roller coaster for a moment. As it crashes through there, just barely misses killing that guest on the go kart. That's unfortunate. Alright, guys, thanks for watching this episode. Give me a like if you liked the episode. Um, share it if uh, you think that there's somebody out there who would enjoy my videos. And subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I will see you guys in the next episode.